Hello Galaxy of Heroes. Just gonna do a quick mic check. Yes, mic is connected to mic, if that makes sense. Ground war, assault battles. One day, 13 hours left. Reason why I said that is because I should be able to do this again tomorrow evening. Today being October 17th. So tomorrow is October the 18th and is the launch of Jedi Revan. Ooh. So, um, I'm just going to go with this bunch. Yes, this should do it. Game sound, I believe, is off. This is the one that until Bastilla came on the scene, oh, actually, this is to do you, um, was quite a pain to do. Oh, I should have given him the buffs, never mind. Um, let's just get rid of that speed up and get rid of floaty droid who just gets really annoying. Um, and now I'm just going to keep hammering at this B2 until we get through all this additional protection. Uh, game sound is not on, is it? All right, there we go. So we got through all of that special lock, and now we can just hammer this geezer down. Oh, that was a funky glitchy thing there. All right, come on, you need to have a turn, don't you? Let's take that off you, though. And I'm not going to chuck it around. I'm just going to waste a biggish hit. Right, his additional, whatever we call that protection, is gone. His purple protection, how about that one? Boom, gone, bye. Round one, done. Uh, time to call in. Second master's train. Yeah. Throw this slot out. I do like this this Grandmaster Yoda um works works really well. Uh I have done whatever the non lead Zeta is is done. She'll be bashing them down by the end of it as well. Um, I'm just, I don't know why I'm saving on to their specials. Maybe I shouldn't, but meh. They start to hit harder and harder anyway, don't they? So, boom. I am excited about Revan dropping tomorrow. Uh, get rid of the speedy yuppie. Oh, cool. Three Jedi's equals no floaty thing. And those buffs are so nice. All right. Uh, I'm not going to deploy yet. I will get rid of him. Because Jody is also going to give me a load more buffs. I'm going to spread them out. All right, as you can see, this B2 unit gone. Um, throw everything out. And now... Get rid of him before he gets rid of all those lovely buffs. Boom, gone. All right. Ah, oh, crap. I just realized, of course, I did what you shouldn't do, which is use all your specials just before you go into this round with the death mark. Oh, it's not. Not this round. Am I doing the wrong one? Let's throw that lot out and have a more hit floaty thing. Oh no, there is Grievous. Oops. 
being a bit slow there. Um, can we block him? Yes, we can. All right, now the race is on to just get Grievous gone before he puts Taunt on somebody. Oh, I should have done the buff. Give me that. All right. When you come, there you go. Um, take those buffs. Throw them out to everyone. Do that. Hit everyone thing. Oh, God. Oh, that's all right. Pastilla can go and get rid of that taunt. We need Grievous down. Grievous is down. Yay. Um, I'm just going to work on the one that's stunned at the moment. Because these are just, they just play hide and seek and it gets a bit tedious after a little while. But yeah, we just have to work our way through. If I can speed it up by uh, doing all of these bits as well, then I'm going to do that. All right. There's my one gone. Call him in. The other thing is, is they're going through the turns and getting rid of... the uh, health blocker that's on them all. But, uh, yeah, introduction of Bastilla, Hermit Yoda, um, the working of, or reworking of Grandmaster Yoda does make for a good squad. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Um, it's always going to go on Grandmaster. Well, not always, maybe. But actually, no, it's always going on Grandmaster, isn't it? Even if I were, I don't have the Zeta on Ezra. I the only the only Phoenix of Zeta is Sabine, actually, which uh, I don't know. I just liked her when she first came out, um, and I think I geared her quite quickly as well. Hence, she got it and. Ezra didn't. Oh, let's hide my Grandmaster. Throw out some buffs. Kick B2's ass. Yay. Sounds like a plan. Boom. Um, I'll go on. Get rid of him as well. It's always on Yoda, isn't it? All right, so Yoda's reset. I don't think number seven or the seventh one is too bad. Um, we'll have the speed. Take the turn meter. And I will just get rid of it. All right, so the buffs are now, oh, sorry, not the buffs. I'm now just working my way through to having all my specials ready at the start. So he's got, what, one turn left before he goes again. Jolie is fully reset. Hermit is fully reset. Yoda is. So is Bastilla and Ezra, so just... Basic, basic, basic. Basic. Right. Final encounter. So want to try and get rid of floaty thing first of all, just to not make this any harder than it really needs to be. Floaty thing gone. Next is I want to take away Asajj's 
her meter because I want to kill her before she gets the chance to nickel our lovely greenery. That's done. I'm gonna take that buff, throw it all out there, and tell you how it. Yay. I think I've decided that I'm going for Dukes first. Mr. Gnarly himself. How about that? And we can make him hide as well. Oh, I like that. And I'm going to throw it all out again. Yay. Oh, <laughs> what is Dooku made of? Go find out, Yoda. Oh, wow, he's still standing. All right, finally. Um, now I'm gonna just take out Poggle. I didn't do the uh, oh, pillow, never mind. Again. They just take a lot of hitting to be persuaded to leave, don't they? Go. Bye-bye. So, apparently I'm saving the only one that has the counter-attack in till last. Actually, not the only one. I think Dooku might have a bit of counter-attack in. By might, of course, it's, it does, and it's lots. really look at the turn meters on them all before I start doing this stuff. Bye bye. Done. Yes, so definitely. Um, just wondering who is going to run. Where? Tomorrow. Wow, can't you get the whole sentence out in one go? Alright, I just stuck it on auto because they should be good for all of these. I played the manual one, just well, I played the first one, the hard one manually, or A, because like, they're tunes and you know, it's nice to actually get a chance to play with our toys and also I get annoyed on that fourth phase and it's refusal to target Grievous and you know you just watch them all go because they all get death marked and it also annoys me when they use all their specials and there's only one tune left But other than that, <laughs> they do disappear a lot quicker than um, the previous round. And of course, it's only going to get quicker as we move down the challenges. I like it when largish yellow numbers start appearing. Yay, they worked out to get rid of the, f oh, the floaty things. I don't like the floaty things. They're gonna leave that one though, aren't they? Oh, I put 
Wow. Uh, maybe it's because it knows it doesn't carry the bus through. I don't know. I looked away and one of them had already gone. No. <laughs> Oh crap. Sorry, I'm just looking around and I've um I've left my tea in the other room. Pew pew Wallop Sound of empty cans dropping. Ooh yes, lot of air. See, I just don't know whether I would have... Well, I know I wouldn't have played it the same way there. Right. Okay. Right, good. Got rid of floaty things. And then let us all just get rid of all your greenery. Build it all back up again. Right, greenery ain't going anywhere. Oh, wow. So Mr. Gnarly till the end. He ain't coming, he gone. There you go. Ah, great. Connection problems. Ooh. Oh, now we go modding, don't we? Fence and health. Defense protection. Fence health. Defense tenacity. Potency offense. Ooh. Defense protection. Defense. Protection crit chance. Nah. There's some griever shots there, though. Send them off again. As I said, it gets quicker. As we drop down the challenges or the challenge rankings. Do not like loot. gonna get noisy so <sighs> sorry I forgot that these days even though it's on auto and they're now vastly superior my tunes over what's in front of them still takes a little while I've just moved away from the other sounds. Hopefully I've not got too much of a scratchy mic thing going on. Oh, well, that is. Get more sound. Get it done. But yeah, we had the kit reveal earlier for Rev. Oh no, this is uh, this is me just waffling about what's coming out. I'm 
as I say, I'm looking forward to it. And there's two of the three characters required are featured here, obviously. Um, they're both seated, both actually gear 12 as well. So, uh, as is Zalbar. Couldn't get mission to 12. Um, I can actually now. However, I'm just hanging on to deploying all her gear because uh, I'm going to need to do a huge gear deployment tomorrow. Been looking at the requirements for, for Revan and... Uh, oh, crap. Sorry. There's a lot of carbanis and quite a few stun guns. But a lot of carbanties. Right, so what we got? One final one. I was going to switch out Jolie for um, Mr. Beardy. One beard for another, but um, nah, ain't happening now, is it? Or well, it could do, but it, yeah, ain't happening. Start to get in, but finish together. What this does mean, though, is it, it it's gonna look. Or it looks like it's gonna be making Jedi arena viable. So anyone that hasn't got on the or isn't moving too lot far along so far with the title challenges, um, yeah, you can get some wins running five Jedi's. Although chances are you've already done it. Count one halfway through here. Ooh. I did say it's the topic of conversation for the past few days. Right. One droid gone, done. Here we are. Of course, they've stacked up all this offence and everything. Oh, look at that. And then they do that. Jobs are good. screen up and what inventory get reached there we go what was that one ground war done thank you for watching